Joining me now, as he does every Monday, is best-selling author of The War on the West, Douglas Murray. Douglas, plenty to get through today, and I want to start with what centre-right politicians in Australia and the UK mm. could learn from the success of the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis. Uh, he has just mm. uh, really seized the opportunity in defending traditional values. He has. Um, as you know, Rita, um, uh, the big question around the upcoming uh, American election, the presidential election in 2024, is will Donald Trump run or won't he? And uh, everyone pretty much agrees mm. by now that he'll run if he thinks he can get the nomination and then win. And if he doesn't think that, then he, he, won't, he won't run. Uh, the main challenger at the moment is Governor of Florida Ron DeSantis, who is now on an even pegging with Donald Trump among Republican voters. And in some polls, he's actually shown superseding Donald Trump in the polls among Republican voters. And this is very interesting. Uh, Ron DeSantis is rather disturbingly for me, uh, almost exactly my own age. Uh, he's wildly accomplished, <laughs> over accomplished. Uh, he's been an extraordinary governor of Florida. He, of course, took the very difficult, but in the end, uh, vindicated decision to not shut Florida down during the pandemic of 2020. Mm -hmm. That was a very very bold decision, but actually Florida didn't have a uh, death rate, you know, w wildly disproportionate once you take in age of population and much more. Uh, Florida, therefore, has actually boomed in the last couple of years, uh, when most of the rest of the world has been a kind of stagnation at best. But of course, Ron DeSantis has also had other victories. He stood up to woke corporate. He stood up for traditional values in schooling. He stood up against gender nonsense being taught in the classrooms and being told that Everyone has got a thousand genders and they're growing by the minute. Um, and, 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 he, and there are various other things he's done like that. Uh, he stood up against critical race theory. And, and, and I think this is very interesting. Mm. We talked last week, among other things, about Kemi Badenoch uh, in the UK. Very talented young politician, uh, also young politician, uh, certainly by American standards. But this one in the UK, uh, Kemi Badenoch, who also has stood up for just some traditional common sense ideas and has also seen an enormous surge in popularity. So I think, yes, you're right, Rita, there is, there is something that must be learned from this uh, in Australia, apart from anything else. Oh, I live in hope, but our politicians, uh, the conservative ones here, seem just not to have the courage to seize these opportunities and stand up for yeah. values of at least half the population. And, and, and uh, Ron yes. DeSantis, his political instincts are very similar to Trump. He's more polished, more astute. Yes. probably than Trump, but his yes. uh, political instincts, you would say, mirror the former presidents. They do in certain ways, yes. Um, and I, th I think really the, the reason why there's a sort of growing feeling for DeSantis is he doesn't come with all the baggage that Donald Trump by this point certainly does mm. come with. I mean, I think that if Donald Trump does win uh, the, the, the Republican nomination, you'll see a very, very uh, mobilized Democrat vote in 2024. So there's a sort of hope, I think, among some Republicans that perhaps people could say to Donald Trump, you know, to the extent you did, you know, some, some good, uh, we, we, we acknowledge that, we thank you for that. That, but it's time to move on with a new generation. Uh, after all, and as we've discussed before, Rita, uh, we, the next generation would be fought between somebody approaching 80 and somebody over the age of 80. And at some point, <laughs> the octogenarians have got to let their grip on power go. But you're right, Rita, one quick, quick point on this about Australia in particular. You say the opportunity, and exactly, it's an opportunity. It's not like any of these sort of common sense ideas that we all believed till yesterday are sort of wildly fringe. I mean, they are fringe in parts of the media, as we know. They are fringe in parts of the sort of chattering yes. classes. But most of the general public agree with this stuff. It's just a lack of guts and leadership, I'm afraid, among a lot of conservative leaders across the Western world.